We'll just take the short path down to the beach, and then it's, uh, just across the way. Should be a good lookout for a transmitter location past that. Watch, uh, watch your footing. It gets kind of steep. I think we're close to the ranger station, too. I'll be all right, Jacob. Just do me a favor and don't twist your ankle trying to watch where I'm going. Uh, no, no, I, uh, <laughs> I won't. do this so fast just take it slow no need to rush and slip and you know die no that would defeat the purpose ah oh, another anchor see we can climb down from here oh goody First time back at the gym in a while? You kidding? This is my uh, happy place. <laughs> Harder than it looks on TV, right? Feels weird the first couple of times. Yeah, I feel like I shouldn't be banging my knees against the wall so much, but... Hey, that's Olivia's friend. Charlie! Hey, buddy! Wait up! Jacob, wait! Let's stick together! He has something! Wait! Ugh! Open the gate. Hey, you, lady, you and uh, Gingerbread here better quit following us. Ugh, or bad me? things are gonna happen. Seriously. Will you just shut up, dude? Uh, who's Gingerbread? Is that Jacob? Did you two just meet or something? This is stupid. Look, whatever you and your little friends are doing- Don't follow me. Don't follow us. Stop what you're doing. Last warning. Wait! And Gingerbread, come on. Are these your work hours or something? You look exhausted. And I mean that in a bad way. Oh, yeah? Well, why don't you eat something? And go to hell also. God, you and your entire freak show crew. God, somebody's parents must have read the wrong books, because that kid's a prick. Yes, he's... Ugh! God, that was annoying. We just got in here two minutes earlier. <sighs> okay. Okay, it's... I'm fine. There's probably a key for the lock at the ranger station. It's just up here. Ugh. So, uh, gingerbread, what's...
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, gingerbread. It's... Uh, this is incredibly dumb, but two summers ago, I was at the beach and I went to go to the bathroom in a, you know, one of the latrines they have there. And as a prank, some high schoolers pushed it over. And I fell out practically naked and they call me gingerbread now as a goof. And that's it. Not a whole lot to explain. Okay, but why gingerbread? Because my hair down there is pretty light and in the sun it looked red and so that's, that's it. It's just something some of them thought they saw. Like I said, it's dumb. Wow, like who cares what a bunch of delinquent kids call you? They're probably just jealous you have pubes. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, that's what I tell myself too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, there's, I think that's a frog, right? Sorry, I don't know why I got so excited. Hey, frogs can be exciting, dude. They're frogs. They're freaking cool. Where was it? I actually think it was just a rock. Oh, Olivia wasn't planned for. I wonder if she knows that. Oh, okay. Whew, okay. That's the ranger station, so you're welcome. I, uh, didn't say thank you. Yeah, I just hope the ranger's there. That's funny. I almost said that. Jesus, what happened here? Looks like, like, parentage ransacked the place. Or ha had a seance? God, I have no idea. It's kind of unsettling, seeing the little ceremonies of people devoted to things inscrutable. Ranger, are you, uh, in the bathroom? No? Crap, there's broken glass over here. That guy, God, he totally wrecked the place looking for comm equipment. Little thief must have taken the ranger's walkie. Spectacular. He, oh, God, why'd he trash everything else? Is there a phone? There has to be. We might be able to call out. Oh, yeah, there should be one under something. I'm calling 911. Just give me a sec. Okay. 
Um, hello? I don't think anyone's there. Uh, okay, well, we can try redialing the last received number. Maybe it's just 911 that's not, you know, working. But that might be a dead end, too. I don't know. I'll, uh, just redial the last number. Okay. This is Shelly, Park Ranger at Oberon Station. Anyone there? You're a Park Ranger. We're, we're at the, um, the Turnstone Forest Ranger Station and need to report a crime. Oh, this is Turnstone? I, I just called there. I'm getting a few scattered reports of an electrical storm in your area. Riley, tell her what's going on. Fires have started. Have you seen anything? And is Local 43 on standby? Look, uh, Shelly, I, I know what you're talking about, but it's it's not an electrical storm. Something else is going on, and I, I don't know how much I can get into it without you just hanging up, but... Okay, slow down. First, can I ask who I'm speaking with? Hello? Um, uh, Riley and Jacob were both... Er, were both residents. Jacob still is. So, Riley, it's not a storm. Something else is going on. Okay. I would normally write this up as tomfoolery, but I've been getting too many off-color calls tonight. And I've been hearing other things on my patrols. Stuff I would normally chalk up to coffee-induced auditory hallucinations. But you couple these with the phone calls. It's been an interesting night, to say the least. Real interesting. Times two. So you'll help us out? I'll do what I can, but it's not like park rangers are exactly outfitted for trouble, gear-wise. Hell. We have to provide our own pens. I have to go check something out, but if you have a walkie, I'm on one. Talk to you in a second. Hey, Riley, you there? Over. Riley, come in. Yeah, Shelly, I'm, I'm here. Perfect, you sound clear. All right, is there anything else I can help you with? Over. Uh, yeah, actually, do you, do you happen to know where the key for the gate is? Over. Trying to get to the beach? It's on the bulletin board, tacked up. All right, I have to leave, but I'll be in touch. Hey, you do the same. Over and out. Oh, she seems... nice. If you say so. Hey, found a key. There's no markings, but a pink sticker. Oh, awesome. That has to be for the gate. Well, it doesn't have to be, but, you know, hopefully. Maps. With a bunch of districts listed. I guess to delineate which ranger takes which patch of forest in case of anything. I don't know if we'll find the park ranger geographical coding system particularly helpful at this point. What's this? Oh, did they stuff a squirrel? A little plaque says Nutty the Squirrel. I'm sure there's a, a story there. Oh, you know what? Sorry, I just remembered. How's uh, your dad doing? The last time I saw him was back in high school. Yeah, but we were, uh, I was at the grocer, and he was before me in line, and the clerk asked about you or something, and, uh, your dad mentioned how Riley is a name after something? There a story there, or...? It's just some dead soldier that died in some town in Dublin. Not much of a story. But no, that's, that's cool. He also, your dad, mentioned how proud he was that you, I guess you just enlisted, and he was proud of you following in his footsteps. I don't think it was bullcrap, for what it's worth. Yeah, Jacob. Frankly, I think he was just happy I was out of his hair. Well, he said he was proud, so... But, you know, you obviously know better.
keep thinking about what they could be doing, like what they could be trying to do. Parentage, the cult, just with all this. You gotta figure, or at least I'm figuring, there's two possibilities. Either they're a bunch of underbaked human beings making underbaked life choices, just thinking this whole thing's a lark, without really measuring the consequences. Honestly, Jacob, it doesn't really matter what they want. They could be trying to bring about the end of the world, for all I care. They ran into the wrong uh, environmental researcher. What if they're right? What if whatever they're trying to do is the right thing to do? I uh, hate to be getting in the way of our one true opportunity at eternal salvation. Well, we can't really wait around and see, you know? Yeah, uh, true. I'm also just trying to remind myself that I, too, was once a dumb asshole teenager who did dumb asshole teenager things. I'm trying to. Maybe not succeeding, but trying. You know, I was actually a pretty well-behaved teenager. No real scandals, with some late nights. I wonder if your folks would say the same. <laughs> when you talk to your dad about old times, what does he say? Because something tells me... I don't really care what my dad thinks about anything. Oh, okay. Well, uh, what, what about, um, what about your mom? What would, uh, her thoughts be? She, uh, was actually out of the picture pretty quick. Left when I was very young, too young for a memory of her. And so, too young to guess what she'd think. No, no, that, 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 that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> try to bring it up. Uh, yeah, but, uh. Well, my clueless parents would attest to my being a very good kid in high school. They would, but even I have to admit that if someone had told me I could open a portal in the sky and make things better for myself, I'd have fallen for it. Probably. Especially in this town, where everything smells like fish. Well, sure, Jacob. I mean, what kid doesn't want to reach out and touch the void a little? See if it touches back, you know? Yeah, understandable. There he is. Hey! Ah, damn it! Stop! Jacob, come on, wait! Ah, oh, jeez. Will you come here? Don't, don't wait for me, just go! Jacob, I can't... I, I can't climb up this. Can you come back? I'll take that as a no. Red Rover, Red Rover. Who wants to come over? Hello? Uh, no, no thanks. I'm a little busy at the moment. Not busy yet, but you will be. <laughs> Tag, tig, tiggy, tips, touch and go, and then you're it. If to play, just say okay. Play what? What, what am I supposed to do? Just follow along. Sticks and stones can break my bones. And so can rocks and so can blocks. Bloody and red, they'll kill me dead. No more night, no more light. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Cold. 
Is it cold in here? Fifteen. Warm. Fourteen. Heating up. Thirteen. Twelve. Warmer still. Eleven. Less warm. Ten. Cold. Warm. Nine. Warmer. Cold. Colder. Eight. Warm. Seven. Is it cold in here? miss feeding you. I'll miss when you sat on my lap. Uh, huh? And most of all, I'll just miss you being around. Goodbye, Lewis. You'll always be my favorite gecko in the world. I've... I, uh, I don't know what to do next. What happens next at a funeral? Well, everybody's different, but usually you say some nice words. Funny stories, favorite memories, any you want to tell Lewis? Well, I think my favorite memory is when you threw up on Mom's sandals. <laughs> that was pretty funny. You'd just gone to the store. Yeah, I'd actually forgotten about that. Blissfully forgotten. <laughs> I hadn't. I'm going to miss him so much. I'm really going to miss him. Ugh, he's moving so slowly. I hope I die before you do. I don't want to see you like that. Please don't die before I do. Please, just get out of tomorrow. Just be here, kiddo. Just be here. I... I don't like seeing him alone. I... Can't we... Isn't there a way to get him back? I don't like seeing him out there. He's... Lewis has everything he needs now. No, I want to be with him. I don't want him to be alone. Hey, kiddo, come on. You want to be with him? Wouldn't you miss me? Rex? Damn it! Ugh! Damn it! Hey, what are you doing? I don't want to see him. I don't want to... Mom? Riley? Riley? Wait, where's Charlie? Didn't you run after him? Yeah, but he got away, actually. He took off over the hill, and I thought I was already getting too ahead of myself. 
so came back. Oh, thanks for trying anyway. I appreciate the effort. Trust me, my lungs do not. The path he was on funnels back to Tatiga Falls. So, maybe we'll get lucky and he'll still be there. Come on, let's hit the road. Hey, Shelly, wh what do you know about the beach out here? The water never gets warm enough, and the sand is extra rocky. Over. Anything, you know, salacious ever happen out here? Uh, I think a bike washed up once. Though it's equally possible someone just, uh, just left their bike there. There was a big push in, like, the 20s, I think, to keep kids away. Hidden caves and tunnels and all that. Kids love crawling right into those. And hate when they can't crawl back out. Which apparently was an epidemic then. Rock slides, broken ankles in the dark, bad luck. They banned all children eventually. And they stayed away ever since. Over. No kids. My kind of beach. Who doesn't love getting a tan on a chilly, overcast afternoon? Like most beaches in this state. Pretty to look at. But sucks if you're looking for that classic bikini and bellini fun in the sun experience. But hey, at least we save on sunscreen. Over and out. Shelly, you ever heard of parentage? Oh, oh, Lord. God, yes. I have heard of the f effing parentage. Sorry. On duty. Try to monitor the language. The number of times I've had to deal with their naked forest dancing ceremonies. It's like, okay, wanna dance naked? Cool. That's why God invented backyards. Over. Okay, gross. Right? I can't stand getting dirt under my fingernails, let alone... Uh, on duty, Shell. Come on. Uh, anyway, there was this one member, though. She died a few years back. Uh, don't know. Wasn't so hippy-dippy. More a scary Harry. More scary than... Did she also dance naked? Well, they all dance naked at some point. She hated parentage more than me, but she was still a member. Just some bog-standard old lady complaining about how the old ways were dying out. Kids these days, the usual tap dance. I had to drive her back home once after she twisted her ankle during one of their naked dance-offs. The story she told. That's when it started to get scary. Among other things. Over. Super horrific? I'm talking the gritty reboot of the Inquisition. Apparently its founders were a lot less into naked dancing, and a lot more into fire and bodies. But, pin in that, I gotta do a quick walk around. There are sleeping skunks in this area, and they're not fond of talking alarm clocks. Check back later. Over and out. Um, is... is anyone here? Over? Hi. This is a pre-recorded message. You've reached the Kamina High School radio advice line. If you'd like to get some advice, please call again when the line is open. Listen to 88.1 to tune in and find out when to call. Thank you. Have an okay day. Hey, Evelyn. Are you there? Over. Hey, Riley. Yep, I'm here. What's up? Anything weird happening on your end? Over. Mm, I mean, everything's kind of drawing outside the lines right now, Riley. But no, not since the last thing. Just a lot of readings. Not enough time to decipher them. All right, keep in touch. I'll talk to you later. Over and out. Hey, Shelly, I want to know more about parentage. Oh, hey, Riley. I, I just finished the skunk spill. Okay, parentage. I mean, this is secondhand off someone who smelled like they were carved from gin, but still. So I guess parentage goes back, like, centuries. And a good few of them. There was this freak lightning storm once over Edwards Island, just out of nowhere. 
This was right in the middle of a wicked drought, so as soon as lightning touched ground, everything caught on fire. And every one. Hundreds of skeletons. At least, that they were able to count. Hard to get a proper number out of Ash. Over. But wait, it gets worse. And weirder. Apparently, during that fire, this, like, thing showed up in the sky. Like this, I don't know, shape. The woman was mighty slurry at this point. Something opened in the sky and showed paradise on the other side, while the earth below it was an actual burning hell. A triangle, or... I don't know, she was just shy of intelligible. Over. Heck of a tall tale. I was captivated. I mean, once I got past the belching every other sentence. A vision of paradise. But just that, there and gone. An open and shut door. Those who survived called that vision Planet Shine, and decided to form a group to recreate it. And thus, parentage was born, with ash on their tongues. Over. Define paradise. What did that look like? Couldn't tell you. She didn't go into detail. But it was the only time during that car ride that the old lady looked happy. Like she was there. I <sighs> don't know. It was trippy. The old lady told me that for like years and years after, they tried to recreate that night. As best they could. So, no lightning, but plenty of fire. And plenty of bodies. For years. Over. Some people didn't, you know, catch them in the act or something? I'm sure they did, and I'm sure they were set on fire. The long and short of it, it never happened again. The shape in the sky, I mean. Surprise, surprise. People dropped out, membership went kaput, the thing, uh, ran its course. A couple of diehards, but no more, you know, bodies. No more sacrifices. No more ash. Over. Well, I, I mean, you say that, but... What about the old lady? Clearly, not everyone changed their minds. Uh, yeah, you're not wrong. I don't know. There are people who think indoor plumbing is a mortal sin, so... You're always gonna find one hanger-on, I guess. Seems colder out tonight. As far as I'm concerned, they're as dangerous now as they were then. Call me crazy, if you want. No, I... I won't. The old lady was drunk, but there's a difference between drunken delusion and belief. Her conviction was plenty sober. Anyway, don't believe everything you read. I'm getting a call, so see you when I hear you. Over and out. Oh, sorry, I forgot to kick the rope down earlier. I was, let's call it focused. Yeah, that's diplomatic enough.
There he is. Son of a... God, these assholes. Hey, you get back here. Hey! Jacob, relax. He's just a kid. Ah, damn it. Oh, take a little tumble there, pal? Get up. Yeah, okay, asshole. You got me. What the hell do you think's gonna happen now, huh? You have no idea what you're messing with. The powers that they've given us? What? You wanna take a swing at me? Take a free shot, gingerbread. I got all night. I won't even move. Land a solid one, right there. Ugh, well you just hit him already. Wait, what? Hitting me will just piss them off, and you don't want that. Stop yapping. A final warning. Ooh! You're just lucky don't I missed- Don't you understand that whatever you're messing with, it's destroying everything. Reality, it's, it's wrecking reality, literally. Maybe reality deserves to be wrecked. What we're doing tonight, it's gonna change our lives. Change everything. Hand over the stuff you stole from the ranger station. Oh, this stuff? Are you kidding me? Hmm, funny. I know, right? That's it, I've had enough of this, this, whatever this is. I swear to God, if you don't start talking some sense right now, you're gonna get your mouth smacked off your goddamn face. Hey, whoa, you understand? I don't speak, Hey, you dick. better talk to us, kid. What's going on? What's Parentage doing? I don't have to say anything. Besides, this asshole wouldn't understand me anyway. Ow! Uh, hey, back, back off! Do you think if I punt you over the gorge here, would anyone miss the snappy punk idiot from apartment 3B? Would your mother? Everyone in this town knows you're a goddamn mistake. Hey, that's... Shut up. Now, you're going to tell us exactly what we want to know. And if you don't, your ankle. <sighs> Whatever. Jacob, stop. Just stop, seriously. We're getting... This is getting bad. Getting bad? This night is literally falling apart, and it's this prick's fault! Him and his whole crew! They think they can mess with me and my, my stuff, and now tonight is too much! Jacob, you have completely gone around the bend. Don't lose your head. We still need to look at each other in the mirror in the morning, okay? Fine. Whatever. Do it your own way. So, what, are you, like a cop? I'm just trying to help. I'm just trying to fix things. Fix the things that you and your friends broke. Now, tell me why you're breaking things at all, okay? Two sentences, go. We're making things right, and tonight's the only night we can do it. You want more? Because that's about as simple as I can make it. Don't worry about us, explain tonight. Who else is involved, and what are they doing while I'm stuck here with you? I'm not a rat, lady, and what's happening tonight is too important. I can't let her down. I just can't, okay? And besides, I need them to help me too, and I'm not about to start messing with that. Fine, you're coming with us. We're not done. Yet. I... wait, who's... <sighs> Whoa, uh... is this...? Oh, God. Uh, he's... it's like he's sleepwalking. I don't know. This is nuts. What should we do? We can't just leave him, right? Uh, uh are you okay, I, buddy? I, I know I'm hearing a radio signal. Maybe there's a way to... I don't know. I, I don't know what to do.
but no. Again. What? The father was a military man, and he met the mother when they were both cadets stationed. But she left. The mother left, never to be seen again. Was back home. Do you know me, or, or what? What do I have to do with this? Everything. We will take whatever we need for this to work. Your future is our future. Now, no matter what happens, this Jacob's and my future. What? What does that mean? This has been a test of the emergency broadcast system. Stay tuned for further instructions. Is he? Oh, man. Oh, okay, he's... There's, there's no blood. Nothing's shattered. I think he's asleep. And not like unconscious, but like sleeping. I mean, that's good, right? Hey, yeah, he's okay. Great. But we need to plant the transmitter now. Uh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Reap what you sow, buddy. I have little sympathy. I'm sorry, but back to the, uh, the, the stealing our future stuff. I mean, should we be doing, like, anything about that? How do you uh, want to handle that? Any, uh, any thoughts? Nothing's changed. Jacob, it's the same as it's been. We plant the transmitters, we stop those kids, we stop the ghosts, we go home and have a shower. Roger. Okay, transmitter. Let's find a place for it. And, uh, hey, I, I just want to say sorry about getting too hot with the kid. gonna hit me if I don't accept your apology. Okay, I deserve that. I just, I don't know. It just really got under my skin. I'll be better. Don't worry. of green. What did Maggie say?
I, I'd place that transmitter here. I think it's our best bet. It's the highest point in the area. Fingers and thumbs crossed. And toes, for good measure. Just got a vision from the future. We catch nothing and get takeout for dinner. I guess we gotta go home. Don't wanna piss off the, uh, yeah, uh, I can, uh, relate. They're usually very, the ends don't justify the means, so I'm surprised we're fishing at all. We're not catching anything anyway. Not if we don't use live bait. The guy at the store said so. Remember? Oh, uh, what, what are we using? What's the difference? The difference between what we're using and live bait is that our bait is dead. Mm, this is taking so long. Let's just go to Seafood Sands. Please? trying to be here. Can we leave? Please, I'll share my hush puppies. Get out, pull it. We can breathe. We can walk. Try being grateful instead. It's a much better way to wait. Oh, you owe me so much pizza after this. Hey! Check it out! I, I, I think I got one! Almost got him. Can we fry him? Is that a thing? I want to eat him tonight. Nah, we're throwing it back. Bad enough the guy has a hook in his mouth. Oh, come on. Um, it's dead. Mom? 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 Find something to hide under. Anybody there? Were you, were you buried alive, too? In like, not in dirt, but in bugs? Hey, it's okay, man. Take a second. I, okay, I'm trying to take it. Hmm, I would take all the seconds, but... <sighs> I just want to get out of here. Charlie must have left. Or I, I don't know what, I don't care. What about finding Charlie? Jesus, we chased the kid halfway through the freaking county. Yeah, and we found him, and then, you know, nightmare. So seriously, screw Charlie, screw this waterfall, screw everything. We planted the transmitter. We're done here. We're leaving here. 
Whew. Oh, man, that was brutal. Hey, uh, a minute ago there, did you see a kid, like 12, maybe, maybe younger? Uh, no. P pretty sure no. But, I mean, it's still pretty hazy. Uh, maybe I did and I don't remember? Sorry. Sheesh, people really love tagging everything up here. Oh, that, yeah. That's been here a while, though. Yeah, like when my dad was a kid, he had his photo taken, and this was in the picture. Something about it being old just makes it more, uh, acceptable for some reason. This is gonna sound, but I, I keep having flashes of high school passing you in the hall between third and fourth period. That's when I'd see you during the day. Everyone else always looked in a hurry, but you definitely weren't. <laughs> we ran in different circles, I think. I never think about school, or I try not to anyway. It's hard for me to sit still for very long. Oh man, me? I love sitting still. It's like my favorite thing in the world. If I don't have to move my body at all, that's a great day right there. Can I ask? There were like six kids who didn't get a yearbook photo, and I was always like, who wouldn't want to get their yearbook picture taken? It's senior year, because I'm at heart a dictionary salesman. But can I just ask, did you just not want to? If it's like personal, then forget to ask. My uh, mom left when I was a baby. She just couldn't handle it, my dad says. And sometimes I'd see people who look like her, from pictures my dad had, you know? And on the day they took yearbook photos, I saw her sitting in a car outside the school. It probably wasn't her. I mean, of course it wasn't her, but I just didn't go in. Bummed around with some older friends, saw a movie instead. Oof, sorry. That's, that's hard. I'll see her in reflections and passing windows and stuff still. I try to get over it, you know, but some things make it hard sometimes. Evelyn, you there? I planted the first transmitter. Great, awesome. The numbers are coming back. It looks... So weird. Like, the frequencies look like they're decaying, but also, huh. It appears to be breaking a lot of rules Doppler established 200 years ago. How are things looking? Does it feel weird out there? Over. Oh, it's pretty nuts out here, Evelyn. If I were you, I'd stay inside. Hunker down. Over. Yeah, I... No, I should. I'm sorry, my mind's... I'm waiting on a call from my sister. We were supposed to get dinner, because she lives in Kamina, and... I haven't actually heard from her in a while. Sorry. I'm just thinking about that. If I sound distracted. Ah, oh, that sucks. But just focus on your sister, Evelyn. Don't worry about this stuff for a minute. Over. Thanks. I wish I could. I'm just hoping everything's 
okay and her phone is just dead. All right, sorry about all this. Thanks for the call. Hit me up when you plant the next one. Over and out. Sorry, Shelly, but I'm kind of busy at the moment. Over. This will just take a second. I've been getting calls from local residents uh, concerning sightings, I guess. People reporting seeing a, what I would assume is a sort of bioluminescence out in the storm. They're not talking about the situation above Edwards Island. This is something else, but it's hard to get a visual from my station, even with the binoculars. Have you seen anything like glowing objects? of varied sizes. Uh, they could be talking about the, uh, the ghosts, or beings, or whatever they are. They emit a soft light. Maybe they're seeing that? Over? Uh, yeah. I still think there's a more logical explanation here, but okay, if that's what you think. I'm going to investigate, and it'll take me probably half an hour. Just wanted you to know. You can still contact me. If you have any questions. Hmm, okay, well... Watch out for weirdness. There's plenty to go around out here. I'll check back in with you, whether or not I see anything. Over and out.